A five hour debate. But how are we to know who won? Don't worry, AI can help. I downloaded the whole debate and used OpenAI's Whisper to transcribe and diarize. Diarize meaning it's not just the text of the debate, but the text is assigned to a specific speaker. I then give the transcript to multiple large language models. Don't worry, they have no problem mapping speaker IDs to real names, even when multiple speaker IDs are used for the same real name. Automated transcription often assigns multiple IDs to the same person due to audio variations. I asked Grok3 in Think Mode, Gemini 2.5, and ChatGPT03 to review this transcript, summarize the debate for me, and tell me who won without equivocating by saying things like, oh, it's a matter of opinion, I'm just an AI. And then I also asked for a score for each debater on a scale of 1 to 100. I thought it might be interesting. I asked for the summary of the debate just so I could tell that the models were actually reading the transcript and that they understood what was going on. They all did. And I asked each of those three models three times to get nine votes total. The winner, the objectively true winner of the debate was Ethan by a vote of seven to two. Like I said, I thought the score might be interesting, but the scores are pretty close for whatever that's worth. Google's Gemini gave a good summary. It wrapped things up by saying, Ethan excelled at prosecuting specific incidents where he felt wrong, using prepared evidence effectively. Meanwhile, Hassan was more ideologically consistent. I agreed with that take, having watched most of the debate myself. Gemini says Ethan Klein likely won the debate on points, meaning the specific points that Ethan focused on Gemini thinks he won, and there wasn't a lot of disagreement on the underlying Israel-Palestine question. You can also use the models to ask follow-up questions, and the models will be like this neutral third party that has access to the transcript of the whole debate. So I took what I thought was Hassan's main point, that Ethan was only pretending to agree on the Israel-Palestine questions in order to refocus the debate on personal grievances between Ethan and Hassan. And I asked Gemini what it thought of that. And it gave me an analysis. Basically, it thinks the idea is plausible. But then I said, what if Ethan really does agree with Hassan on the substance of Israel-Palestine, and the only real differences are these personal grievances matters? Then wouldn't it make sense to focus on their actual differences, the personal grievances, rather than Israel-Palestine? And Google Gemini agreed with that. So maybe that's actually a little bit of a weakness for the current models, that they're kind of primed to agree with you. So whatever argument you make, they say, that's very insightful, that's an excellent counterpoint, and so on. So it can be hard to get the models to give genuine pushback, but I still think it's interesting to talk to the models about the questions of the debate and let them use the transcript. And I do think the models do a really good job of summarizing a five-hour debate giving you the big ideas and the key points from it. And I agree with what Google Gemini said, which is that on the specific points that were actually debated, then Ethan was better prepared and he won on those points. But I also think it's interesting that O3, which I personally consider the smarter model, at least voted two to one that Hassan was the winner. And O3 framed it as Hassan staying on a more meaningful, big picture, more important argument while Ethan was more focused on the less important grievance aspect of it. It would be so easy to make an automated clip channel out of this. The transcript can come with timestamps, just pass it to a large language model. Hey, tell me the times of the big impact moments, the main points and so on, then just automatically cut those out of the video, stitch them together and re-upload them. I don't know, I bet a lot of clip channels are either already automated or they will be soon, but I felt this was an interesting way to use AI. Thanks for your time.